ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு இட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ டுடே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வேர் டு சி அபவுட் ஒன் ஆஃப் த கொஸ்டின் தட்ஸ் பீன் ஆஸ்ட் இன் அண்ட் இன்டர்வியூ இன் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி டாப் சர்வீஸ் கம்பெனி இன் இண்டியா அண்ட் ஐ ஹவ் காட் திஸ் கொஸ்டின் ஃப்ரம் தி சப்ஸ்கிரைபர் விச் வாஸ் ஆஸ்ட் சின்ஸ் இட் வாஸ் ஆஸ்ட் ஃபார் ஹிம் ட்யூரிங் ஹிஸ் இன்டர்வியூ so these are some real time questions that's been asked and i'm going to discuss the answers here so that next time when you encounter this question you will feel comfortable in answering this question because we had discussing some of the most important keywords and some of the most important industry experienced answers so let's now go to the question so the question is imagine you are in a situation where your application under test is exhibiting intermittent spikes in response time which is you are seeing you are observing spikes in your response time during the test so how will you leverage the thread dumps to investigate the root cause of this spikes or how would do, how do you do a root cause analysis and as part of this you must give a step by step approach on how you would capture and analyze the thread dumps during peak load periods and on top of it you should explain the key indicators you would look in look into the thread dumps to identify for any potential source of performance anomalies and how you would propose solutions to mitigate these issues so you are observing a challenge a bottleneck in response time so the question is what is your step by step approach on capturing and analyzing the thread dump during the peak load periods and you have to explain the key indicators that you would look into the thread dumps to identify for any potential sources of performance anal- anomalies and how would you propose solution to mitigate these issues so now i'm going to approach this in four up and four approach which is situation task action result so first i'll explain the situation and then i will take you through the task and then the action which i will do and then the final result of it so first i will take you take you through the action and if you answer this question in this approach automatically the interview will will be impressed because you are bifurcating your action process so firstly the situation so in this the situation is in your project so you can answer this in a way that in my project i am encountering an intermittent spikes in response time within the application under test and these spikes were causing disruptions in user experience and impacting the overall system performance and that's a quick summary about the situation and now let's move on to the task so my task was to investigate the root cause of these spikes and propose solutions to mitigate the performance issues so now you have clearly understood the situation and you have come up with your task so again let me reiterate it so your task is to or my task is to investigate the root cause of these spikes in response times and propose solutions to mitigate the performance issues so that's my task when it comes to, when it comes to the action so now let's let's go through the action so to address this challenge this challenge of spikes <coughs> i leverage thread dumps to gain insights into the application's behavior during peak load periods and here is how i approach it so the first thing is situation analysis so i start by gathering data on when the spikes occurred and under what circumstances they were triggered so that's my first action and my second action is capturing the thread dumps so during peak load periods i capture multiple thread dumps using tools like gstack or visual vm and this involves accessing the applications running java process and generating snapshots of thread activity so now i have captured my thread dumps and my third part is analyzing the thread dumps so once i capture the thread dumps i carefully analyze the thread dumps to identify patterns and anomalies and i specifically look for threads consuming 
excessive CPU or memory resources. I look for any deadlocked threads or threads stuck in a blocked state. I look for long running or stale threads that might indicate performance bottlenecks. And then the root cause identification. So I have identified all, I have analyzed all these, I have captured the thread dumps, I have analyzed the thread dumps, and now I should do the root cause identification. So based on the analysis, I identified the specific threads and code segments contributing to the spikes in response time. And this involved tracing the execution flow and pinpointing areas of inefficiency or contention. And now the solution part. So what would be my solution? So with the root cause identified, I propose targeted solutions to address the performance issues. This could include, I mean, this solution could include optimizing the code, fine tuning the configuration settings, or scaling the resources to better handle peak loads. Because I have identified what is happening, the issue by identifying the thread dumps. And also I did a root cause analysis. So after doing all these, I have come up with the solution which is to optimize the code, fine tune the configuration settings or scaling resources to better handle peak loads. So now coming to the final part which is the result. So when it comes to the result as you are approaching your issue in a way that you are ident understanding the situation you're capturing the thread dumps, you're analyzing the thread dumps, you do a root cause identification, and then finally you propose a solution. So result of this approach, I'm able to effectively diagnose the root cause of the intermittent spikes in response time. And by implementing the proposed solution, I significantly improve the application's performance and stability, which will ensure a smoother user experience during peak load periods. And this is how I approach this question on thread dump and it'll come up with the analysis and then finally the solution and then the result. So by doing by answering this way you can impress and you can showcase how well you understand the analysis of the thread dump and how better you know the process of handling this situation. So with that I come to an end we will deal with another interesting question which has been asked in an interview recently in another company in another organization and we will see how does it go and i'll definitely give you a better answer so that you can answer this in your interview and you can impress the interviewer and also make sure you have better understanding on the knowledge and you have better knowledge on the skills so with that i come to an end and we'll meet in another interesting video until then it's bye bye from and little slaw